Hello folks, welcome back to the channel once again. Thank you very much for joining me. You are always most welcome, of course. Now today, interesting photo, isn't it? It's This is a photo of the uh, Lockheed P-38 Lightning. Um, I'm not sure if they know which version it is. I think it may be a G, but I'm not sure, maybe an H. Uh, probably a G there. Um, and this is the one that has been, uh, well, was discovered in 2007 in North Wales, just off the coast at Harlech, North West Wales. Literally stuck in the sand. Um, now, I won't go into the whole history of this aircraft, but what I will do is give you the link uh, below, or maybe at the end I'll put it over here, over here, uh, and you can read it from Mark Felton, who actually did it as it happens, by coincidence. I was already looking at this, and he's obviously been looking at it too, and he, he did a really good video about uh, 10 days ago. Uh, so I'll give you the link to his video because I think he's a, they're always very good and he gives the full history of how this plane crash landed accidentally by having fuel starvation. Bit of pilot error I'm afraid he didn't shut the, open the fuel valves to the, uh, I think you have to use the reserve tank for starters and then you go to the main tanks and he didn't do this. And he ran out of fuel and he had to land it on the beach in North Wales um, a bit out, obviously the tide was out at the time, 1942 I think it was. Um, and he had to make this emergency landing and, it, and then the sea came in within a few hours. He was unharmed, although he was killed later in the war, about a year later I think, sadly. Um, but this aircraft is um, its such an interesting relic and it's only appeared for the first time in 2007, so it's been down there for, you know, 60, 70 years. Um, and there is now um, uh, TIGAR, which are the, um, the charity, which is sort of taking over the sort of uh, investigating it and researching it. TIGAR, and forgive me because it's an unusual name, I think it's the In International Group for Heritage, Aviation and Restoration. Uh, and they've got basically a appeal. Uh, they're trying to raise funds and get permissions, etc., to ultimately rescue this aircraft and, and restore it. And apparently they've already said from the, they've had the divers in looking at it, because it's it's about half a mile out, which is quite deep. It's two meters under apparently, uh, and it has disappeared again. It disappears as the sh sands shift about from time to time. So they want to try and uh, restore it. They claim that the metal is in surprisingly good condition, so it's restorable, but it's going to take a lot of money and time, and it's going to require some sort of a rig building, like a harbour building around it, I think, to in the short term to uh, to, to get it out of there. Um, and it's an ongoing project. So you, many of you will recall that. In fact, I just I just flip back actually as we're talking about them, and I'll see if I can just uh, bring you press information. It's known as the Maid of Harlech. This is its nickname. I'll bring you in on this and you can have a little look. Uh, 11th of November 2007 is when it was discovered. I'll give a link to this underneath the video so you can have a proper read of it. Um, and it tells you all about it. Um, uh, they're also investiga investigating other interesting projects like the disappearance of Amelia er Earhart uh, and all sorts of other interesting stuff that they're, they're really into this in a big way. I think it's an American owned um, group. Uh, and they're set up as a, as a charity, and they're actually in Pennsylvania, Oxford, Pennsylvania, USA is where they're based. So any American aircraft of significance and interest around the world, these guys basically, uh, you know, go in there and uh, talks about their mission statement, the board of directors, all seem to be very, very enthusiastic people, and I think it's quite a worthy subject. So I'm just going to go back here for a second. There's the photo we showed. Uh, the discovery, the lightning, discovery, how it was found. Da, 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 da. I'll let you read all that in due course anyway. So, why am I showing interest in this? Well, as I say, Mark Felton uh, seems to have been working on this or thinking about it same time as me. He's done an excellent video there, as he always does. I'm going to close that. So these guys are raising money. So I thought it was a really nice charity, actually, for... I mentioned about celebrating my F-15 new Strike Eagle and saying I was going to raise funds um, and I've already done some for Ukraine so I thought I'd do something different this time and I think that's something really interesting. It's not very far from where I live, it's only about 50 miles away from where I am. So it's just to the west of here and uh, I think that's quite an interesting project and I would like to see that plane restored. I'm a bit of a lightning fan, I never sort of had an interest in them when I was younger. But it's a very interesting plane and it's a very high performance aircraft as well. When it first came out, it was, um, yeah, along with the Mosquito, it's two of the fastest planes in the war. So 
it gave the Allies a bit of an edge. So I think it'd be very worthy. So what I'm doing, as you know, there's also a book that goes with this. Now I've actually put the, I've started the auction on eBay. It's only one week this time and it runs until Sunday evening or it's about 8, 10 p.m. on Sunday evening, UK time. So if you're ever in the States, it's like, what's that, three in the afternoon, quarter past three, ten past three, or noon, quarter past noon in Seattle. Uh, so it gives you an idea about the timing, and obviously in Europe it'll be quarter past nine p.m. So we're going to, I'm donating this to charity, um, and the one complication I have is that eBay are very strange. You, you can select all these charities, but there's only so many. You can't name a charity and then it automatically pops up. There's only so many that they sort of recognise. It's quite a small list actually as well. Even on the Ukraine I found it quite difficult to find ones that I had confidence in. Um, so I can't really do it that way. So what I'm going to do is say to people, I've, I've already had one of you um, over in the States has expressed interest in supporting this. Um, so what I'm going to say to you, if you're not in the UK, because I only sell my eBay items in the UK, for good reason regarding postage costs because it becomes crazy, you know, for, for everybody. So if you're not in the UK and you would like to support this, please by all means just give them a small donation. Uh, I'll give you, I say, I'll give you the link over here about the Mark Felton video. And I'll give you a link underneath about the actual full uh, website. You can go read up on it. It's very interesting. Um, but just give them a small donation, and then let me know. Show me some evidence, you know, in an email, and I will include you in this as having made a contribution as well. I'll give you a shout out. Just tell me how much information you want to say in, regarding your name and whether you want to say how much was donated or not. Just tell me what you want me to say, and I will include that when we sort of wind this up in a week or so. So the F15 is now on eBay. Uh, I'm actually. Um, so obviously if you're giving a donation you won't get the F-15, but those in the UK and uh, Northern Ireland can get their hands on this, no problem. It's currently a donut starting price of £18.99, it's got a £40 value, so that's an absolute steal. And it's, it's all going to go to this brilliant charity, so please, if you can, really appreciate your support. Um, but to finish what I was saying about the, the way eBay works, so I can't do it, I'm actually having to say this is a charitable auction. Um, so people initially are going to have to trust me, so I will, everything, everything I raise will go to this appeal. I'll donate it, uh, and I'll prove that in a later video and show you my evidence that I sent the money, okay? Uh, because I can't do it directly for some reason, it's very strange, I don't know why they, they can't let you nominate any charity. Anyway, there we go. So that's the way I'm going to have to do it, to do the, for this rather interesting and very worthy cause, I think. And maybe we'll help to get this this P38 dug out of these very salty sand that's in two metres down because um, I say they reckon it's currently under the sand again um, and it'd be nice to see it restored and then perhaps in a museum and uh, I'd like to see it in the UK because I'm not sure there are any of the lightnings unless somebody will correct me in the UK um, and I think we could do with one so it'd be very nice because a lot of them were based here in the war of course it would be great you know anyway so if you're in the States or anywhere else in the world that's not UK uh, including our friends in Europe um, please just give a small donation and then let me know, show me the details with an email or something and we'll get you on a list of people who've donated and, uh, and everybody gets a shout out and a thank you. Um, so that's what we're doing, so I say there's a book which I haven't got in front of me at the moment, but the book which is a really good one, like a magazine come book with lots of colour photos, the Revel Kit got a 9.5 out of 10 which is the highest rated Revel Kit ever by me, <laughs> so it's a, it's a good kit. Uh, so there we go. So I thought I'd just give you this quick update um, and hope that you will help to support this and uh, I'll say I'll put the link for the eBay auction underneath so you can go and have a look at that if you're in the UK you can bid on it. Please bid generously because as I say this thing needs digging out of the sand and the sooner we can all uh, make a little contribution to help that happen. I mean it's been down there now for 15 years since they found it so it, it would be good to get it out sooner rather than later. It just gets more difficult and more costly the more time passes really. So there we are, quick update for you, thought you found it interesting and just, just want to say thank you for watching, please support this worthy cause, please give what you can um, and have a good read, go watch the Mark Felton video, you'll find it very interesting and it's remarkable that it wasn't found before, I guess the sands must have moved a lot, you know, or uh, perhaps there's a bit of seismic change under the, uh, the coastline in North Wales, but it's odd that it's never been seen before, before 2007. So let's see if we can get it dug up and get this thing restored back to its former glory and at least in a museum in a nice condition for people to look at it. So there we go, thanks very much for watching, um, really appreciate your time, even more appreciate if you can support it. 
in the meantime, until we meet again, thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done already. And ding the notification bell if you haven't done that. And then you get the early warning of any new videos coming up. And until next time, thanks very much for watching this brief vid. And bye for now.